Stadium in beautiful Boise, Idaho, sporting the only blue AstroTurf in the United States. This coin toss presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Fresno State's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and the one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. It's a big-time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play-action pass or a play potentially that can go behind you. I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. Got some open field. Runs it right. Nice pickup. About five yards on the quarterback keeper. That's good for a gain of five yards. Third down. down quickly that reception good for around four yards this is good timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver recognizing the soft coverage from the defensive back the quarterback puts the ball right in the money for a nice game he gets out to about the 48 yard line So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. Check, check. And... Pass complete and taken down immediately. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Quick pass. Brought down at the 34-yard line. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. Gets out to around the 25. That's good for a game of nine yards. That brings it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He has some room. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Complete. He's taken down right around the four-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. You know, this entire group functions so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 47-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. and ready for 
for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Broncos really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He goes out of bounds at the 28. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle around the 48-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Makes it out to about the 39. Call it a gain of 13 yards. First down. Makes it out to about the 30. Makes the tackle. Gain of nine yards. That makes it second and two. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. It's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll make it second and So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's hit immediately. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Give to the tailback. Tackled and producing pickup. That brings up second and goal. Down he goes at the one-yard line. He's got a touchdown. Nicely. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. We'll be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. We're even at seven in this one. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Taken down in the backfield. Call it a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. 
Tackle made at the 47. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. So at the end of one, we get a tie game at 7 7. We're all tied up, and more action coming, hopefully, here in quarter number two. And a quick throw. And he's taken down at about the 35. From the 35-yard line, first down. Gives it to the back. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Good open field tackle. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 23-yard line. He's got it with room to run. And that sets them up with a first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. the stop at the seven maybe three yards that time on the pass that's a nice completion but give the defense a lot of credit they weren't fooled at all they were able to hold him to a short game that brings up a second and goal ball on the seven yard line he's tackled at the four yard line here's play number 10 on the drive They'll bring him down at the five-yard line. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That brings up fourth and goal. They're going to go for the easy three here. Boise State could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. So it's like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20, looking for the corner. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. That quickly incomplete. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he's level at the 19. Number 32 hit the tackle at the 19-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Big opening. And he's tackled around the six-yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. That makes it first and goal. And 
and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. From the 13-yard line, second down. And he is drilled at the five. Call it a game of eight yards. That makes it third and goal. Now he's scrambling. And he's gonna run this one in, touchdown. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he's immediately tackled. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 45. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Deep pass to the end zone. What a pick. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 20. Fresno State is up by four. Fresno State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. Gets it out quickly. And they got him for a loss. A four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. He throws right. And that's his receiver who's wide open. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. First down. He's got his man across the middle. He's taken down at the 34. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackle around the 30 yard line. Number eight makes the tackle at the 30 yard line. That makes it second and six. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds around the four-yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. And down he goes at the four. The Bulldogs call a timeout. That's their second of the half. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Fresno State 
is up four. Touchdown, Fresno State. He's got two touchdowns on the ground today. I think today in college football, we're seeing more and more quarterbacks that have this kind of approach. You know, that's his second touchdown in the first half alone by running the football. And I think, again, this is what keeps defensive coordinators up until midnight during the week, is trying to figure out not just how to stop the running game, passing game, but how to account for a running quarterback. So right now, this defense does not have the answer to slow him down. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. That's a great tackle at the 42. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. Caught, open field, tackle made at about the 49. That makes it second and two. He throws left. And that one's incomplete. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And he's taken down right around the 34. Looks left, finding his tailback. And they make the stop at the 31. Boise State's called their final timeout. It's second and six. Ball on the 31. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He passes it. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. Number 81, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Throws this one out to the right. That's incomplete. Certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime. 21-10, Fresno State. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports Halftime Show. Alongside David Pollock, I'm merely Reese Davis. David, pretty solid first half there. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. Yeah, we saw a pretty solid first half. Good execution on both sides. Great intensity. Both these teams, you can tell, are digging deep and scrapping. Now the second half, which one can continue to execute and keep this game moving in the right direction? The Broncos got the short end of the stick right now, needing some sort of spark to try to get back in this one. A whole second half in which to do it. Players back on the field, Brad and Kirk ready to bring you the call. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 24 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Black five, black five. Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. A loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11 from their own 23-yard line. It's second down. It's out to around the 32. That's good for a game of nine yards. Third down. Man, 
left, man, left. He's to the 40, makes it out to about the 43. First and 10, ball on the 43-yard line. He makes his way to about the 48. Brings up second and one. And he hauls it in. And he shoved out of bounds at the 20. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Five wide. Quick throw, and he's hit before he could go anywhere. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown, Boise State! That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's taken down at the 17-yard line. Fresno State's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. They're ready to begin another drive. Fresno State holds a four-point lead. He heaves it deep. That close to being intercepted. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. That makes it second and ten. From their own 17-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled around the 20-yard line. He's hit and taken down. Gain of 47 yards. First down. Got it to his man on the screen. They'll bring him down around the 33-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Makes his way to about the 22. Call it a game of 11 yards. First down. Like 13, like 13. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Game of five yards. That brings up second and five. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of four on the play. That'll make it third and one. And this play is number eight on the drive. Fresno State is up by four. They'll drop in for a loss. That's a loss of four yards on the play. Fourth down. 
So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks away, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Fresno State's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Across the middle. Locked down at about the 37 yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 37 yard line, first down. They push him out around the 32-yard line. Short pass, middle of the field. He's taken down around the 27-yard line. One more quarter of action remaining, and this one has been a real treat. The Bulldogs with a touchdown lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Makes it to the 14. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Slings it left. They can't connect. Incomplete. Number 17 was the intended receiver. Here's the eighth play of the series. That makes it second and ten. And he's hit immediately. The slant pattern good for about eight yards on the play. And here's another third down. Touchdown, and it's going to be an interception. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. Man left, man left. Down, down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got some open field. Gets out to around the 38. Makes the tackle. First down. Fresno State is up seven. Easy, easy, easy. Fires incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guys' hands. It's second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision-making. He's wrapped up for the sack. 
loss of seven yards on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. He's knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Out of bounds to 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. a bullet over the middle and down he goes at the 40 yard line we've got a first and 10 ball on the 40 less than three minutes in the game That's just a great call by the coordinator there, going to the air on first down. The defense has got to be thinking, if they've already forced a red zone turnover, maybe they can do it again right here. Nice run to the outside. Makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the eight. Fires out to his receiver. And he's immediately tackled. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He's under pressure, and they got him. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. That makes it fourth and 12. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He might not be able to get the pass off. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over a minute left. Up the middle for a nice game. The Broncos will use their first time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. made at the 17 Boise State will take their second time out of the half tries to get around the corner he's out to the 30 he's to the 40 the 50 and they finally knock him out at the 44 yard line Boy, everything seemed to come together on that play they had the right call good blocking and an excellent run all on one down First and ten, let's see if they can build off that great run. They come out in a five-wide set. Tackled after a decent pickup. Boise State's called their final timeout. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And they make the stop at the 31. First down. Double tight, double tight. Double tight. Four down, four down. Let's go. Red 18. 
quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. This one's in the books. The Bulldogs take this one. 24-17. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? I was impressed with both teams out there, but the difference in this game came down to execution and playing mistake-free football. Boise State had a lot of chances in this one, but a number of costly mistakes squandered those opportunities. Eliminate the errors, and this one could have gone the other way. EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.